Good morning. It is a fabulous negative nine degree snowy shitty day here in Bozeman, Montana. And I don't have to work or do anything today. So I'm sitting here playing one of my favorite games, City Skylines. The city building game. Uh, yeah, I've been working on this city for a couple weeks now. Um, I've put a lot of effort into it and it's functioning quite well and I just want to show it off a little bit so first off I named it Toyopa Pole for no reason other than it sounds like it could be a city in Russia somewhere I don't know so yeah it's got 39,516 people which is bullshit I mean this place should have at least I don't know 395,000 people just looking at it, but I don't know how the game uh, calculates population. Anyways, um, when I started the city, it started uh, probably over here in the district that I um, named Vermont Heights, where these skyscrapers are now. It started out as just a little uh, neighborhood, and across this highway division here was um, Cedar Square, the uh, farmland that I developed because of the fertility of the soil. Um, it's been thriving. Um, it looks like there's a traffic problem, but there really isn't. I spent a lot of time um, managing these roads to be one way, so like as you can see the flow of traffic there, um, they just kind of go in circles until they hit the main artery road here to go out which is a little bit congested i don't like how congested that is but there's really nothing i can do about it at this point it's been like that for several in-game years so it seems to work just fine um yeah more square and cherry heights over here some of my oldest neighborhoods these are high level um high-rise developments um Losing a lot of people, but they're not the highest level. The highest level ones are these ones right here. Those are some fabulous skyscrapers. <clears throat> I mean, shit, this little district right here alone would have like, I don't know, 30,000 people in it, so I don't trust the population metrics for this game, but I'm not going to let it screw up my enjoyment of this so anyways we got some landmark things here there's a little theme park um this part of my city is really my favorite part um i worked really hard to make sure that it's got all the services and amenities that it needs but it's also high you know high density um urban development it took me about a week to get all this shit going um this little skull and crossbones things there just means that someone died in there and they're waiting to get picked up um, but I have plenty of crematoriums and two cemeteries, so they should be getting picked up at some point. Over here in Cedar Square, um, as I already talked about my farms, I also have some dirty industrial areas, like some gas manufacturing right there on the, on the banks of the river here. Um, these things right here are my oldest sources of energy. They are just wind turbines with a little solar panel and then I have a little solar plant here planted some trees there to just kinda you know make it not so dirty and scummy over here but alas I can't really help it um, there's gotta be a little bit of industry somewhere moving on here I have Evergreen Hill subdevelopment right here is a low density urban neighborhood but Forest Park right here is a compact high density um, there's a development for people to live in. It's, uh, I like this little spot right here. It just seems like the kind of place people who work over here in the city will live in. Speaking of the city, Moore Square right here is basically my Times Square. Um, I mean, things are going to build a little bit better once they level up a little bit, but um, right here is my Capitol building, um, the main hospital. Um, some asshole was complaining on Twitter about the noise po noise pollution. It's probably this fucker right here, but that's too goddamn bad, dog. You live in the fucking city, deal with it. Anyways, um, yeah, my little Times Square area, and um, right here in the middle, um, 
is my commercial district. So I have office buildings as well as um, like the business planning company office building. Um, also some shopping, uh, some consumerism bullshit, things like that. Um, then yeah, my lovely little neighborhoods here in Vermont Heights. Uh, we got our stadium for the city. That thing cost a shitload. Um, what else is, oh yeah, I like my little, uh, the, uh, riverfront bungalows here. That would be a nice place to live. I kept the roads, uh, dirt here just to, you know, kind of make it feel a little bit, you know, a little bit out of the way from the rest of the city. Um, doesn't create any light pollution. I mean, yeah, this would be the chillest place to live. This is where all the fucking hippies who, you know, made, you know, tens of millions of dollars in the tech boom, they now live there. Um, ooh, look at this building. Ooh, what is this all about? The Cozy Residence. Yeah, this thing's reached its maximum level. It's probably generating me a good profit for the um, land development there. And I'll show some... Uh, I'll, I'll show some... I guess statistical graphs about things here in a second. But first, uh, I'll keep my tour going. Got the uh, central artery here. Of course, I was talking about Moore Square with its commercial and office building bullshit. But here, I put some real hardcore time and money into, which I like to consider, you know, my um, my international city square kind of area. Um, as you can see, there's some open land here because I started building towards this area. But this is really going to be the uh, new age hub of the whole thing. Um, you know, I've got a lot of British architecture in there, like this fucking, the Erg, or the Gherkin, I guess you could call it, um, I guess it's called, but the fucking London Eye, I don't, I don't really like it right there, but I feel like, you know, it's, it's next to the water, and next to the, um, the highway, speaking of which, the highway that leaves the boundaries of my city, I mean, this is where all my goods and services come and go, so I want to make sure that everything, um, you know, flows to it really well, which is why I have this fucking eyesore of an intersection here. Um, as you can see, this, oh yeah, that's a bad traffic jam there. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to manage that somehow, but <clears throat> as it is, yeah, you can see all the arteries I've plugged into this bastard. I mean, at one point I had, you know, far more traffic, well, I still have a lot of traffic going that way, but... Yeah, it's kind of a nightmare right there. I'd hate to, you know, live in this fucking city and be stuck in that traffic. I'd fucking blow my brains out. But, um, yeah, the uh, cultural hub of my city. It's a little bit Dubai-ish. I mean, there's not a lot of soul or heart in any of this shit over here. But, you know, not not like not like over here in Cherry Heights and Moore Square and Cedar Square. Like I said, Vermont Heights, too. This is my favorite part of my city here. A lot of time, effort, and care. This part, you know, just feels like I'm selling out. Anyways, um, yeah, here's my airport, or at least my, one of my airports, the um, main central city one. Still not a lot of development right here, simply because there's a tremendous amount of shit going on here, noise pollution and the like, especially because I have a rocket launch site here, which is... Uh, due to, due to launch here pretty soon, um, haven't done that yet, and that's gonna be fun. I have the Statue of Liberty here for no good goddamn reason other than I unlocked it. Um, nice little, nice little shit over, uh, overpass here that I made. Cause, um, this was, this is where I started the city, and then I started, um, building over here. On this side of the highway as soon as things got a little crowded there and I needed to exploit more resources and house more people so what I did is I made Spring Park and Orchard Park here well actually mostly Spring Park here to be residential you know I got schools and malls and police departments all that good stuff in here um, it functions pretty well you know and then these people they can uh, get on the highway here and go work in the city or you know do whatever um, Orchard Park here this is kind of a it's, it's a new commercial district that I'm developing um, and then you know another airport here um, and this airport is it's essential because I really I'm going to 
develop my city out this way. As you can see, here's where the borders are that I've um, delineated, and I have this spot here that I probably will end up. Um, that'll be the last spot that I can uh, expand. So when you start the game, you can expand in any direction, and I kind of chose to expand from the tip of this peninsula this way and to make it, you know, kind of a, a uniform box instead of it, you know, because I could have developed that um, that island there and some others, but I decided not to, and I think that this will be, uh, be a good direction to go. As you can see, I still have a ways to go. Um, I plan on sustaining this city and making it a megaopolis, um, high density completely to the boundaries of um, where I can develop. So, as you can see, I've got a long way to go, and I've already been working on this portion here for, I don't know, about two weeks now. So, yeah. Anyway, um, we were over here, um, Orchard Park Commercial District Airport. Here, I um, this is the newest spot that I've developed. As you can see, there's some empty space here, but this is the Beechwood District, which is going to be another farming district. And the cool thing about this is, Instead of it being, you know, because this is my other farming district, and it's like almost in the middle of my fucking city. And that's simply because that was fertile land when I started the game. Um, but with this one right here, I have it nicely situated outside of anything else. Um, Alright, that traffic's moving pretty good. I just made this um, overpass here. And another thing I love about this spot here is, um, so this train track here, that's that was here when I got here, essentially. Um, the game already had it. It's a conduit for, um, you know, export. And so what I had to do was build this cargo depot here. I also have another one right here. Um... So that's where all of my goods are just, they're, they're, they're going to go straight to it, you know. This is, this right here is like some German efficiency. Because I'm going to have all these farms here. Um, all these spots right here are going to be filled with farms as soon as they get developed. But yeah, as you can see, I got these trucks. They're going to go to this cargo depot. The train's going to come in like it is right now. It's going to take the goods and it's going to leave my city and I'm going to make a fuckload of money. Um... And that's how that's going. I am going to need to develop more residential out in this area, even though I have a shitload right here. Um, I mean, this should suffice for now. But in the bottom right corner of my screen, where there's those four colors and an exclamation mark, that green bar indicates that that's my demand for residential. So I don't have almost any demand for, well, a little bit of demand for commercial, which is the blue. Um, but the line below that is uh, ma is uh, manufacturing which is basically my farms and all that and since I'm developing that right now, it's not asking me for that anyways as I go off on a tirade um, looks like I'm producing really well here this is a really nice spot I can't wait to see it start to grow now here's the one that makes me feel a little bit dirty. There's oil under all this, and I developed the shit out of this to become an oil hell. Um, I mean, basically Gazprom. And since this place is kind of modeled after Russia, I'm just gonna accept it as is. It's 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 working really well. I mean, as you can see, I I, lay, I laid it out pretty well. It's it's tiered, you know. Unfortunately, the elevation here. So, you know, but I was able to fit in development and yeah it's it's highly polluted but it's highly efficient and I'm making a cockload of money there I also put in a nuclear power plant here since it's already fucked up and filthy uh, I figured I might as well put a lot of my, um, my my pollution my polluters here like incineration plants for trash which are what these are um, yeah so high park is basically my industrial hellhole um, and I got this, this motivational statue here for the fucking workers. Um, and then I got Cedar Heights here, which is a very compact high density. Uh, it's a commercial district, but I like to pretend this is where all the whores and booze are. And then of course, yeah, my, my giant interchange there. So <clears throat> eventually this is gonna be developed. I mean, every, every spot of land here is gonna be developed at some point. I'm still working on it. 
Uh, my demand for residential has skyrocketed, and I think I'm going to stop rambling and start working on that here in a second. So, yeah, that's uh, Toyopa Pool at 40000 I want to pretend that that's... I don't know, man. I mean... It, I don't know if that's, that's, I, I, it, it just bothers me, that population figure, because, I mean, look, this fucking district right here alone, like, like this right here would have 40,000 fucking people, I don't know. Anyways, that's all I have for today, I will, I will update this again, you know, once it gets a little bigger, and, you know, just sort of follow this along, and maybe at some point I'll, um, I'm trying to get a voice here and figure out how to do this fucking shit, so... Maybe I'll start a new game one of these days and start it from scratch and, uh, yeah, comment on it and build up a city because it's fun. Oh, and while I'm at it, too, before I go, um, look at some statistics real quick because statistics are always fun. So, you know, this right here, um, these are my layouts. So, like, electricity, I mean, I'm only consuming 473 megawatts and I'm producing, you know, over a thousand, so... Electricity is not a problem. My grid is fantastic. Water availability, that's starting to slump, but all I need to do is make water pumps upstream of the river, which over here, way out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere is where that goes on. Uh, my crime rate is fan-fucking-tastic. Ain't no one out here trying to be fucking criminals because there's plenty of jobs and there's plenty of education. There's plenty of health care. I mean, it's all the things that the United States of America wishes and thinks that it has, but it really doesn't. Uh, let's see, fire safety, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, nothing there. Uh, my health care is great. Uh, let's see, health care, death care, child care, and elder care, it's all good, it's all good. Um, population, like I said, I don't fucking like the way that that whole thing is, but we're not going to start spinning wheels on that. Citizen happiness, I have an 88% residential happiness, a 75% commercial happiness, a 98% office happiness, as well as 92% industrial happiness. So, you know, over, well, overall, everyone's pretty happy. I mean, it's hard to make everyone happy. All these icons here, like, so someone's dead there, they're waiting to get picked up. Um, this place needs, uh, needs some workers. Um, and these icons right here are the ones that I hate the most. It's like, ooh, I'm sick, and I have fucking earmuffs on because I'm a bitch, and it's too loud. Uh-huh, I hate that shit. That means, like, these people are complaining about fucking noise, and the goddamn... I mean, they're gonna go to the hospital and choke up the whole healthcare system. If it gets out of hand, so there's cascade failures on this game, like... If none of these people can get, um, healthcare, there's just gonna be you know, a backlog on shit, I don't like that. This trash can thing here means that they're pissed off because no one's taking their trash in a while. I hope that that doesn't become an issue. Um, it just looks like maybe the... Oh, look at that. Looks like our, our soccer team's winning, which made everyone happy. I guess they have a soccer game going on. Let's go look at that real quick. No, not that soccer. Oh, American football. Okay, is it gonna be in here? I can't see anything going on in there, so I do not know. Maybe it's in here. Whatever. Anyways, where was I? Um, oh yeah, statistics and whatnot. So leisure. Most of the fun, of course, is in the um, metropolitan part of the city. No, not so much fun out here, but you know, it's the fucking neighborhoods and shit. It's the suburbs. Um, parks, libraries, blah blah blah. Unique buildings. Oh, Christ. Um, outside connections, so my um, export products, of course, you can see there, it's like uh, about an eighth of uh, my production is oil, whereas the rest of it is agricultural, which I like because agricultural is, you know, sustainable. Now, the reason I have icons here, um, this is all like, because this is brand new, I'm not getting enough workers, and I also think, too, that I'm going to have to, yeah, definitely develop some suburban um, suburbs out here, this one's bitching about my fucking oil, my high park oil production, and go fuck themselves, go live in fucking, uh, Canada, um, anyways, yeah, I need to start building some neighborhoods out here, so people will start working in the Beachwood District, 
traffic flow, 79% good, which is amazing considering you look at this and you think, Jesus Christ, I would not want to live there. Um, I, I now understand why um, city planners have such a hard time with traffic. Because when I started this game, dude, I mean, I had everything flowing meticulously. You know, I made all these little overpasses here and shit, and, you know, it was flowing good. And it's just, the more people who live here, the more things I got going on, the harder it gets to really mitigate um, traffic. So, as I'm developing my newer stuff, I'm kind of learning from the mistakes I made in the beginning. Which is why I have a lot of overpasses here. I mean, Jesus, I don't like this right here either. But um, <clears throat> what's going on is, you know, they're producing stuff here. And so the trucks are trying to leave with the goods. And I don't know why these assholes are um, hell-bent on getting to this part of my highway here. Because I have a train depot right here, which some of them are going to. But God damn it, if I could be a dictator i told him to fucking use that and not get on the goddamn highways with the shit but whatever anyways traffic flow you know it's, it's above 75 percent so i'm not too uh concerned there um levels of everything still working on that transportation you know i have no fucking public transportation whatsoever it's just something that i kind of um neglected um because i mean you got to build like bus depots and taxi stations and all this other shit and i just don't want to start tearing things up i mean i think that vermont heights and all that are good without it um a traffic routes garbage processing status is okay gives a shit about when here's my pollution map so yeah no obviously where i'm um pulling out oil is the most polluted but like i said here's my little polluty industrial area too um, good thing with the agriculture is that it's not really a pollutant. Um, I don't know why this here's all polluted. Yeah, that's a sink of pollution. Maybe there's some industrial... Nah, it's because of that garbage incineration plant. Um, let's see, noise pollution. Yeah, that red indicates where it's the noisiest and it's just like, well, you know, this is the city. Get a fucking white noise machine if you don't like it. So my districts, so I have to create my own districts. Um, it's just um, basically for census material. Um, one cool things is you, you, you click on your district and it'll give you, you know, what's going on here. So, you know, I have 3,400 households, population of 12,000. There's no way it would only be 12,000 in that place, but whatever. Um, yeah, you know, and it tells me what kind of, um, what's going on there. So like Cherry Heights, it's got some commercial, but it's overwhelmingly residential. Same with Vermont. More square heads, just a little bit of everything. Uh, Cedar Square is mostly commercial. Because you got a pie, uh, pie chart, little pie chart there. Um, Evergreen Hills has a little bit of everything as well. Um, Forest Park is completely residential, hence the green circle there. As you can see, I need to... I'm probably going to create a new district here, which I'm going to do right now. Yeah, let's do that. This is how I do districts. So, this right here is going to be the posh district of shithead tomfoolery. I'll squeeze in a little bit there, make it a little bit funky. Um, you know what? Maybe I will, I will extend it to here. Yeah. And the game gives um, a random automatic name for your districts. I've been keeping those. I could get creative and start naming everything myself but that would just take too much time um but yeah all right here's the birth of a new district sheffield park you know that's actually pretty appropriate because i got a lot of london shit here and it's not residential it's going to be soulless united arab emirates style shit and then let's see do i want this to continue on as spring park or orchard park well, I need to expand Spring Park a little bit right there, and I don't fucking know what I'm going to do here. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm going to think on that. I really need to do something. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to expand Spring Park. As well as Orchard Park. Those will have to expand outwards a little bit more. I really need to start, I, I need to get something going over here so people start working here. 
Um, yeah, why don't I do that real quick? I'll show how it is to start building um, districts. All right. <clears throat> shall we do here? Let's expand on some Spring Park action. Build my roads. I'm gonna make some fancy roads with some lined with some trees. Um, don't want to get it too close to the train tracks, but you know what? In real life, people live next to train tracks anyway, so fuck them. We'll offer lower prices for any houses next to the fucking train tracks. There's a little gap in there. So these grids, the the the, the grid here, that's where I can paint uh, a district. Unfortunately, there's going to be some open space there, but what I like to do in open spaces is plant trees. Anyways, um, I'm going to make this uh, low-density uh, residential, which are, you know, just houses. Low-density residential is, you know, normal, normal cookie-cutter houses. High-density is going to be big-ass buildings like that um, in Orchard Park. So Spring Park, though, is my my housey house house bullshit you know I'm gonna expand on Orchard Park a little bit too and um, you know do a little bit more uh, high, high residential skyscraper what the fuck is this oh it's old power lines that I no longer need yeah, I don't need your motherfucking power lines don't need your stink ass power lines um, Get rid of that shit. Get rid of that shit. Alright. Um, let's see. What is that there? High school. Some schools. Um, let's see. Try to make it to where. There we go. That's gonna be nice. Alright. So, we're gonna paint a high density residential zone next to the schools there and this little square here and that little square there next we are going to do some low residential uh, low density residential markers there 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 like so Let's see by doing that um shit will start to grow we'll keep a little eye on that for a second and then Hmm, do I want to... Hmm. Just trying to think here you know, if I want to open this up a little bit because there's going to be some traffic nightmare bullshit going on here eventually. And if I want these motherfuckers right here to work at this motherfucking farm, I want them to be able to motherfucking get there. But, you know what, I'm actually going to make a little neighborhood out here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't, okay, so this is really high traffic. Um, yeah, let's do it like this. Uh, 90 degree angle for my road there. I hate it when it's nighttime because it's hard for me to see what I'm doing here. But I'm just going to assume this is what I'm going to do. Alright, right there. Let's see, there's my train tracks. Right there. Keep it 90. I don't want to run the road in there because that will cause a traffic knot. Right there. All right. Cool. Um. Now we'll start laying out our grid. Laying that out here so that we can house some some shitty fucking people and their dumbass families so they can work on my fucking farm and make me some capital, son. Alright, uh, there we go, see I'm trying to space out the roads, um, you know, efficiently so that I can pack in as much as I can for optimal city planning. That. Oh, come on, son. Alright, there's that. That. Bam. 
Ooh, sun's coming out. We can see some shit. Oh no. Um, why why am I having power outages? You know, it's because uh, I bulldozed those power lines that were there. They weren't just sitting there for no good goddamn reason. Uh, I gotta get some power back to it, but that shouldn't be a problem. But let me look at my electricity. Oh man. I'm about halfway there on my grid. Um, let's see. Get some power lines going. See, it ain't, it ain't attached to nothing there. I'm just gonna run some across the highway here from this train depot and get these motherfuckers up on the grid. Um, God damn it. Uh, um, ooh, right here's good. Damn. This, uh, they're gonna. Okay, they're, they're good. That ought to do it. That's all I need. That's all I need. Alright, sun's coming up. Get another good look at the city here. How is it going today? A couple of noise pollution piss ants? Two abandoned commercial buildings. I'm just gonna fucking bulldoze them real quick. One place want, needs workers. Damn, this place is doing good. It really is. Some guy is sick and about to die there, but hey, you know, that's what happens. Someone did die here, probably at a strip club, had a heart attack, too much coke or amyl nitrate, I don't know. Noise pollution, because why? Why? Because there's a statue there? Y'all pussies can kiss my ass. Um... Some nasty traffic over there, I'm gonna have to fix that shit up. Don't worry, there's gonna be workers. I just built a neighborhood here. Actually, I did not build that fucking neighborhood. Let me let me do that real quick. It's as simple as that. Right there. And then I'll build some commercial zone right there just to buffer these people from the farm. So they don't sit there and cry about the noise. Low density commercial right there. It's so pretty. All right, now let's see if any. I'll wait here just to see if any um, houses pop up. I better make sure they got water underneath too. Good thing I checked. So I lay out my water pipes here like so. There's some water there. I'm just gonna. Fill this whole area in real quick. Keeping an eye on it. Ooh, water availability is pretty low. Looks like I'm gonna have to create some water pumps out in bumfuck nowhere. Maybe also throw down another turd churner for my fucking waste management. They got water under there. They need to start building some shit up. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I need uh, sewage treatment, which goes over here, because this is downstream of everything. So there's little arrows within here. This is a river, so it's showing which way the river's flowing. Let's say I were to stick my sewage plant right here. Well, that means all of everyone's shit is just going to flow right down to the city. See how this spot right here has all the black that's because there's shit all up in that water um this is where all my shit processes are this is probably the worst place in the world right now like the uh like the harbor of lagos nigeria is what this place is there's just shit all over the fucking place so i'm gonna build one right there and build one right there build two of them and then i gotta connect them to the pipeline bam Bam. Got a couple of windmills and shit here too, because they're they're noisy and obnoxious, but they provide power for my my turd swirlers. Um now I need water. 
And, you know, this is opposite. So, you know, if I were to put water right there, just pump up water chock full of shit and piss. But, I'm going to throw it over here where it's nice and clean, Rocky Mountain style and all that. Um, oh, wow, can I actually build it right here? Um, yeah, build several. Yeah. Alright, see how my bars are going up, sewage so treatment is good, water availability is getting good. Just gonna go crazy. Bam, tons of water out here in the middle of cack sucking nowhere. Um, Alright, all y'all should have water, no one's complaining about shit really, I'm still having a hard time. See, once this gets going, it'll get, it'll be good. Um, that indicates that the buildings are abandoned, they need workers, yada yada yada. I mean, obviously none of my well-educated suits and high-end crackers in this part of the fucking city are gonna work on some shithead farm, but... I'm building poor people neighborhoods out here so that maybe they will work at the fucking farm. In fact, I think I'm going to double the size of this subdevelopment, which I do need to district and name. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make this a hell of a motherfucker. Uh huh. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? There we go. There and go right there and go right there. Then we will. Should I make it just like the thing? Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it opposite. Alright. Er, game's fucking out. Better not crash on me. All right. That ought to do for now. I got some grid lines. Put some more houses. I want everyone here to be fucking Joe Redneck shithead fucking asshole worker. But, unlike America, I'm going to give all these motherfuckers access to free health care and education. It's not that hard. But they can be simple assholes, they can have their freedom of speech, they can even have their fucking guns. As long as they work in the Beechwood district, we're all good. And if they stay the fuck away from my liberal downtown where the real money comes in, we won't have any fucking problems. Alright, look at this magnificent city here. I am profiting, I have no loss. In fact, we can look at an economic panel real quick. Let's see, so my income is 165,265. Let's pretend that that's in the millions range. Maybe even billion. I mean, come on, 165,000? Whatever, and then, yeah, so I'm making way more than I'm losing, because I have expenses, you know, road infrastructure, my free health care in college, all that bullshit, um, policies, you know, I haven't really done too many policies, oh yeah, here's my stats, ah, I love stats, yeah, my budgeting, city value, damn, that motherfucker's worth a lot now, um, oh yeah, these not really, I'm not taxing the hell out of people, it's a fair tax if you ask me. Birth rate, steady, normal, normal for a first world. Yeah, 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 that's great. Um, anything else to look at before I stop rambling on here? Oh, I better make sure there's some fucking water to the entirety of that district. Nah, it looks good. Nah, I'll yeah, just grid it out here. As such, all right. 
right, lots going on. Let's end it with looking at it with all the cluster of shit. Oh, yeah. It's a fine little city. I'm quite proud of it. We'll see how long it lasts, though, because at any time, shit might go bad, and everything's just going to fall apart. Always the cascade failure. Like, I mean, on my last one, I think everyone just died because, I don't know, they couldn't remove the bodies, and it made everyone sick, so more people died. But, you know, the biggest thing, problems I usually have is just traffic nightmares once it gets too big. But I feel like this time I'm doing really well with the traffic. There's all the new development, none of the houses have been built yet. Farms are still going on. Pollution. Yeah. Look at the center, city center. Yeah, it's a nice little city. Oh, I see why I'm not getting houses built there yet, because they're still working on this little subdivision that I painted. We'll just rest it here for a second. You can see, you know, some houses being built. Alright, that's all I got for today. I'll, I'll make another video here at some point when it's a little bit bigger. Watch this thing sprout into life real quick. Oh yes, the miracle of birth. <laughs>